What's going on people? My name is Theo. I'm back with another episode of Shakedown. This is episode 43 and this time I'm going to be talking about mental health along with men's fitness. So mental health. One of the things that I wanted to do with this show was to talk about mental health um, for a long long time. Um, over the past few years or so there's been high profile deaths linking to mental health. Um, such as Chester Bennington of Lincoln Park, Robin Williams, and now um, the violent star um, Mike Thassalitis. Now um, he was um, found um, dead in a North London park um, this past weekend and um, tributes of war flooded in and um, ITV themselves have sent out a statement to say that they will um, offer better aftercare um, to its stars who appear on Love Island um, and on any other reality TV show um, if they ask for it. Um, mental health. It's a real thing, this is. It's a very, very real thing. Us men don't tend to talk about it a lot and we don't tend to say to us don't tend to think what is wrong with ourselves like you know who to talk to who's best to even you know listen to our problems um and sometimes you do see thing you don't see it at all you know you just see them minding their, minding their own business doing what they need to do but you forget to see if there's anything wrong with them um so i um found um, on a website that um, mental health here in England one in eight men, men have common mental health problems um, and as I said men are reluctant to seek support for their mental health or even disclose it um, even to their loved ones um, so even though that mental health happens both men and women um some difficulties and influences on mental health is um relevant for men you know um it's because of where they are socially um their expectation you know behind uh, behind um society um the traditional member uh, mem uh, sorry traditional gender roles as i should say and basically um men's always about how men should behave you know about mass what masculinity it includes the, the expectation that men are the breadwinners are of the family you know they display what traditionally has been perceived to have um masculine traits such as strength um dominance and control all that sort of, all that sort of thing and you do see it in in men really um but there isn't anything wrong in talking to men uh, talking to somebody about this it doesn't show a sign of weakness no 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 um because i'm being real here if you got a problem you should go out and speak to somebody about it you know you don't just hide it in you know it's not a sign of weakness it is okay not to be okay you know um talking about it shows signs of courage you know it's not a sign of weakness, as I keep saying. The best thing that you got to do is try and speak to a loved one about a problem and try to, to move forward with it. Um, just come out with it and just speak to and just, and just say, look, listen, I've got a problem here. And, you know, the, the, and hopefully your loved one can actually say to you the right things and hopefully take it from there and get the best help possible. What I'm suggesting is uh, three um, free, uh, um, uh, free organizations that could help. One is Calm, and two is uh, Samaritans, and three mental health um, forum. What I'll do is I'll put the links in the description below so that you guys can actually uh, look it up um, and contact them should you have a problem and take it from there. 
Um, obviously, I want I support all men who go out and they you know do things, be successful, and you know get to have a family, live the good life, all that stuff. I support all that stuff. But let's be real, we men need to band together and actually kind of speak to us, speak to um, one another about these problems, because it's not about being. Um, Except it being, it's not about having that sort of idea of where you want to be in life. You're not in competition with anybody, you know. The best competition that you're in is the one that's, you know, looking at the mirror. Nobody else. So I hope that if you are listening to this, I hope that you do get help. I do hope that you'll... Um, you'll uh, you know look at this and say to yourself like you know what you know i got this thing licked you know but mental health is real i just wanted to so we come to um men's fitness now one of the things that i've done recently is well personally i've done um i haven't been to the gym as much as i should do um i have been busy lately but i'm trying to get in sort of a routine to actually do it um, but I have been playing football a little bit now. Um, I've uh, recently scored a goal the other day, which is good. Um, that's good morale. <laughs> um, um, but it has been a long time coming, to be fair. I used to play football regularly on a, a Sunday. Um, every Sunday afternoon, it would be when it used to be my uncle, my brother, um, and he would, we would play against uh, friends of his and we started bringing people to, to that and, and that's what we did um, for a while. Um, we all stopped all that stuff. Uh, we all stopped that because obviously life got into the way of us uh, doing what we needed to do. But I wanted to um, play football. I, I wanted to have the urge to play football. So then I um, started to find... Um, um, people that do play football and I like you know gone to I've gone there and started playing football um, which is good it's good to kind of to, to run again to feel the ball again I know I've got so much more to do because slowly and slowly and slowly I'm getting used to the, the signs of playing football again um, but I will get there um, but anyway that's not really, I, I did I wanted to mention that um, but what I really wanted to talk about was um, what I saw not so long ago, um, Harry's Full English. If you haven't seen the show, go and see the show. Um, it is on ITV Hub if you're watching this here in the UK. Um, basically, he has taken out a team of ex-professionals and um, put in, um, making them play one last game, for some of them at the very least, um, against um, a team of ex-professionals who just happen to be German. So um, it was a brilliant um, show because what I saw was those guys let themselves go long after they, they played. And yes, even though they deserve it, they wanted to do this because they they talked about their football careers a little bit. Um, they talked about, you know, what, how, how it was, how it was for them back when they were playing. Um, they were doing bleep tests. They were hate. They hate doing the bleep tests, and they were going through um, strict and intense workouts regimes um, just to get them fit. Um, some of them were weighing um, about what 17, 20 stone. Um, uh, like, uh, and I thought, wow. And they managed to kind of work themselves up for twelve weeks um, to get themselves near enough fit to play the the game. And um, it was a good journey. Um, and I think that that should be kind of respectful because I look at that and I thought, these are the guys, are middle-aged guys, and and they loved the game so much that they wanted to do this. And it was a good thing to see um, that, they, that they worked hard trying to put the the beers and all that stuff out the way so that they can try and get themselves fit um and eat the right stuff and everything we kind of show you the difference with um with footballers um back in the day to how it is now 
back in the day they could go out and they could have a drink or whatever and then the next thing they can just you know play and and whatever they had to use their own talent and their ability to do it now it's more science infused um they have chefs they got personal trainers um they um, do equipment now you know um, cryogenic freezing ice baths all that stuff it's it's mad how it's all happening now because like um they they play the game a lot a lot more quicker now um but it was really an interesting thing what i know what i can take away from it is that i don't want to be one of those middle-aged guys um that can't do anything you know um one of the things that struck out for me was um razor Roddock. Um, he had his bloods taken and he went to um, a doctor and basically they they said to him that he is on the verge of having a heart attack or uh, a stroke he is like he was that close to the edge um, and I and I looked at him and I looked at him and I thought I better not get like that I've actually got a family history of diabetes, um, you know, both on my mom's side and my dad's side, like it's, it's there and so far so good, touch wood, it has uh, not affected me, but I do need to take my health very, very seriously. It's not like I don't eat um, um, rubbish food all the time, I do eat a lot of vegetables. Um, and I was a, a very thin person. It's just now I put on a little bit of weight, which is fine. I wish I had done that years and years ago. Maybe I would have actually, you know, got girls and, you know, been bullied a lot less, but here we are. Anyway, um, yeah, so I wanted to be able to go into my middle age still, hopefully, I hope to God I ha will have children one day. Um, I hope that you know I can still play football with them in the park and I'll be able to run after them and so on and so forth I want to be able to say yeah you know what I still look good for my age you know um, I'm in my 30s now I do need to kind of like step it up a little bit and get more fitter so that's one of the things I would like to share with you but um, yeah it's like I think really health, that health and fitness it does mean it is it needs to be taken seriously you know it has to be taken seriously you know we're like um and i'm not trying to you know i'm not trying to you know um get anybody down by watching this i'm just simply saying that it's real what's going on you know um you know if we don't take care of ourselves you know you know we don't we, there's a lot of consequences that could actually happen to us so I think it's best to try and get out there and try and stay as active as we, as we can and try and um, do the right things to actually not not feel good for ourselves. But, you know, you'll be having a sense of purpose with yourself, you know. So with that, I want to end this episode of Shakedown. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please um, subscribe, share, like this episode. Um, and I'll be back with another episode very, very soon. In, t in, um, uh, in the meantime, though, um, please take care, stay fresh, stay cool. I'm out. Peace out.